What up, folks? Welcome to Sports Talk Unplug. I'm yours, William Allen. You already know what it is, man. Let me know what you think about these videos, man. Hit that like button on my channel, man. Subscribe if you got the time, because today we're talking about your boy Deion Sanders and what he's doing, as well as other HBCUs and what's going on in the community in those other states as well. But you already know who this is right here. This is my man, Deion Sanders. You already know he played for the San Francisco, also played for the Dallas Cowboys. Also, the Atlanta Falcons, man. But this guy right here, man, is actually the head coach of Jackson State right now. All right, he's got two sons coming to Jackson State. I think one already transferred from South Carolina. You got Shador Sanders, the quarterback, committed to Jackson State. All right, so, you know, Dion made it clear that he's upset that no players were drafted from HBCU schools. And I also understand that, man, because you think about it, man, you had a Grambling State offensive lineman, David Moore. Thought to be a third-round pick, according to HBCUGameDay.com. This was the ninth time since 2000 that zero players from an HBCU school was drafted, man. So what's really going on right here, man? Thank you for joining me on Sports Talk Unplug. I'm your host, William Allen, man. This is the show where we go. So without further ado, let's get it. So guess what? This is my guy right here, Mr. Eddie George, and you already know what he's coming in as the guy, as the head coach at Tennessee State University, man. I'm happy to say that this is a great hire by Tennessee State University because they're doing great things over there. They're bringing head coaches over there, assistant head, assistant coaches over there to actually coach these players. And I feel like they're going to really be doing some big things because you got guys like Deion Sanders coming through there on Jackson State doing some big things and this will be something that players should get excited about because he's played in the NFL, played for the Tennessee Titans, came out of Ohio State, did big things, all right, and won the Heisman and this guy is on the war path ready to do his thing, man, real talk, man. I'm excited to see what's going to happen at Tennessee State, man, because everybody should be excited, period. In Nashville period it's bigger things going on and, and and this is why you should be excited right here man you got uh, basketball head coach Brian Collins man doing big things especially on the recruiting trail uh, masterpiece son uh, let me look down here because I don't want to misspell anything Hersey Miller if I'm not mistaken is his name uh, got him on the trail I know they were trying to recruit some five-star players as well like last season man but this is actually a big stepping block for Brian Pen Penny Collins uh, at TSU, man. TSU is actually about to be on fire in Nashville, Tennessee, man. And I, did I say that again? TSU. TS. 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 Man, all right. They about to be on fire over there. That's real talk, man. I mean, Tennessee State University has a long history, man. Of just great, 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 great coaches, man. This right here is John Mary, man. Let me let me talk about big John Mary, man. Real talk. All right. Coached at Jackson State from 1953 to 1962. His record was 60, 32, and 4. Came to Tennessee State University, where he coached from 1963 to 1983 with a record of 172, 33, and 7. Five teams went undefeated. And five teams only lost one game. All right. So from 1969 to 1973, his record was 48, 3 and 1. All right. This is crazy, man. I know, I know, I know, man. I'm just talking about your guy, man. But he coached 144 players. He went on to play in the NFL. Most notable was Two Tall Jones. All right. Total record for 31 years was 232, 65 and 11. Passed away on December 13, 1983, and took him to the Hollows. I'm sorry. Inducted into the Hall of Fame. All right. 1994. ESPN ranks him as the number 71 all-time head coach. All right. Out of 
150 head coaches, man. This guy's the real deal, man. He's the real deal. All right. Real talk, man. You got to love what's going on there, man. STSU. Man, thank you for joining me on Sports Talk, man. You, you know how we do. You know how we do, man. Sports Talk and Plug, man. I'm repping the New Orleans, man. Chain, you know what it is, man. Let's get it, man. Sports Talk. Let's get, hold on. Let me see if I'm getting pumped up enough for y'all, man. Is it, can I get any muscles? I don't really have muscles or whatnot, man. It is what it is. All right. Let me know what you think about this video, man. Let me know what you think about Tim Tebow going to uh, Jacksonville, trying to get that tight end spot that um, I don't think he's going to get. At his age, he shouldn't get it. Urban Meyer gave him that privilege to get in there. But it is what it is, man. Real talk, man. Thank you for joining me on Sports Talk Unplug. It is what it is. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. Holler at a player when you see me in the street. From the words of a man, the late Stuart Scott. Sports Talk. Unplug. Let's get it.